Hello again, friends. Now, it's not enough for us to just leave our enemies alone. We need to actively show God's love towards them. The Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 25, verses 21 to 22, if your enemy is hungry, give him bread to eat. If he's thirsty, give him water to drink. For so you will heap coals of fire on his head and the Lord will reward you. So what does it mean when we say heap coals of fire on his head? Well, in ancient days, people heated their homes and cooked their meals on a small portable stove, a bit like a barbecue. A person would often run low on hot coals and then they'd need to replenish their supply. And the container was usually carried on the top of their head. So as the person passed beneath the first storey windows of neighbouring houses, thoughtful neighbours who had extra coals in their possession would reach out of the window and place them in the container on the top of their head. And so thanks to the thoughtful generosity of a few folk, they would arrive at the site with a pile of burning coals on their head and a ready-made fire for cooking and keeping warm. So heaping burning coals on someone's head became a popular expression for a spontaneous and courteous act that one person would voluntarily do for another. Now Luke chapter 6 verses 27 and 28 says, Love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who are cruel to you. So you see, we have a choice. We can experience the short-term satisfaction of retaliating, or we can do what God asks us and show grace, generosity and kindness to everyone, even those we dislike. So, who's treated you badly lately? Make an effort to pray for them today and ask God to bless them. Let's pray. We'll say the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.